Let's give it a go. Shoot, dang boy. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to go ahead and showcase one of the cool things we're putting on the car this off season. My friend Tim Flanders over at Math Performance has come out with a really cool parachute mount upgrade that allows you to incorporate a Stroud 4903 spring style canister launcher into your parachute program. If you haven't checked out any of Tim's stuff, go ahead and check out the link in the description of this video. Tim makes a lot of great stuff. Fellow racer, great guy. I'm sure there's something on his site that you'd like. We did this for a couple reasons. Not only to support Tim, but for one, simplicity of repacking the parachute. For those that have a standard style parachute with a pilot spring, you know how cumbersome it can be to be pushing the pilot spring in and trying to tie the bag at the same time. We usually do use two people when we do that. Um, and I tip my hat to those who do it by, them, by themselves all the time. Um, but we wanted to simplify the process a little bit and that's the main reason why we did this. Second is making sure that the thing deploys. There's been times where the deployment bag and the parachute have not made their way out of the main bag, even if the pilot spring has been shot out. Um, doesn't happen often and hasn't happened often to us, but it has happened. And we actually destroyed one of these in one pass when that happened. So um, simplicity, ensuring the thing comes out and wear and tear on the components. The 4903 upgrade kit does not come with a new parachute, but they do have kits that do come with a new parachute. To make your old parachute work with this, all you have to do is remove the tether that has your old deployment bag and old pilot spring on it and implement this new bag uh, with the tether on it. It goes in the same spot, really easy to do. So um, how this basically works, this uh, silver shaft goes through the top plate all the way to the base of the canister. This makes sure that the, spr the spring stays straight when we're trying to retract the spring. On the side, we have a 24 millimeter bolt. Um, so basically, all we do, retract the spring like this. Once the spring is fully retracted and this top plate is below uh, the face of the top of the canister, we then, pull this rod out and we put it through this hole here that runs across the top of the plate here making sure that the spring is completely retracted and locked down after that fold your parachute however you fold it there's a couple different ways to do it um, and then put it into the bag way way less work than trying to do it with this when you're ready to go racing pull this rod back out from the side then this will push up against the bag and then as soon as you pull your handle, it'll kick the chute right out. So let's get this on the car and let's go through the motions and showcase how this all works. All right, let's go ahead and pack this thing. Step one, take the rod through the top plate and into the base of the canister. Make sure the spring goes straight when we try to retract it. Next step, we're going to start bringing the spring in. Okay, we got the top of uh, the top plate below the main flange of the canister. So now we can twist out the rod. Now the rod's out, stick it through this hole here, and that keeps the spring down. Perfect. Next step would be to fold the loop, which we've already done in advance. And then go ahead and put it into the main bag. I already tell you guys right now, this is a lot, 
a lot less effort than with the original combination. This would be the time where we're trying to push the spring down while another person is trying to tie the bag up. We're here now, it's just like a Sunday stroll. Piece of cake. Awesome. Looks good, we'll put the pin in. And then when we're ready to go make our next pass, slide the rod out, spring pushes on the back of the deployment bag and it's ready to go.